There we go. Banjo Bass. Uh, this is me, look. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I thought I'd just share a view from the other side. There's been a surge in, uh, in, in viewers recently. 592, this is in the last uh, 28 days. 392 more than usual. Uh, watch time 9.7 hours. 4.7 more than usual. So that's double. That's treble. And 400%, five subscribers, 400% more than usual. That's That's quadruple. But you can see how how it normally is. Seven is a good day. <laughs> okay, moving on. Yeah, here we go. This is fairly typical. I, I published a video and then it's going to tail off and then yeah, there we go. Back to normal. And. Um, this gives you an idea of the geography. I mean, uh, it's all down to the Americans. For which uh, I'm incredibly grateful. I think if it wasn't for the USA, I wouldn't be doing this anymore. You can see there's zero interest in banjos in the United Kingdom, about as much as there is in Japan. There's 10 here, but only because I emailed everybody I know. But it's great. I'm not complaining. And um, if we go to subscription status, as you see, there are the faithful. There are 25 of them now. But not a lot of them come back. <laughs> and so, again, thank heavens for the unsubscribed Americans. Thank you very much indeed. This is uh, my viewership. But I get a few likes, and they really make a difference. My favourite videos of date. This is the homemade bass banjo video. It's got 1,200 views. I mean, that would be typical in a year, if I was lucky. But, uh, look at 27 likes. Fantastic. Hey. And I, I can't quite understand that. I don't think it's my finest work. Um, I think it was linked with another video about a medieval Chinese instrument or something like that, which was very popular. So I think it was just a fluke, really. And certainly the people that watched that video didn't seem to watch any of my others, which is fine. Which is fine. As I say, this isn't for uh, this isn't an ego thing. I'm trying to encourage others to discover the delights of the banjo. Problem is, if nobody knows you're here, then nobody's going to hear me eulogising. It's a fine balance, isn't it, really? Uh, so I don't mind being a bit sensationalist in my video titles now and again, or, or a bit ignorant, or whatever. If it were to generate a bit of interest and encourage more throughput, um, encouraging people to make their own uh, um, homemade instruments from things like lemonade bottles and plywood, um, or you know, perhaps people are interested in uh, seeing me brush my cat. <laughs> oh look, a little egret in West London. Um, 
or maybe something genuinely to do with the banjo. You know, like um, like seeing me struggle practicing the tunes I've learned recently in this strange double C tuning, which I love. Anyway, uh, they can see me ride around Richmond Park. <laughs> Uh, play some blues on my goat skin guitar, handmade. Uh, what else? Learn more about the goat skin banjos that I made. There was a five string one as well. Um, have a look at my nylon six string banjo. This one really is nylon strung because can you see how thick that bottom string is? I think it's a strimmer wire or something. Uh, anyway, no metal windings on this one. Bit of fun. Uh, enjoying myself. Um, and hopefully encouraging others to. That's it. Do come visit. Like and subscribe. Uh, Okie dokie then. Thank you very much. Especially you fabulous Americans with your fabulous national instrument. Oh, I'm, I'll be eternally grateful for that. Well, over now.